All right, this is awesome. We are going to get some gas out of the one place that is not on the Shell corporate list. This is called... Uh, um, I'm going to close the door for this one. This is called boycotting. Boycotting 101. All right, we are at a 76. The numbers are seven and six. This has been a wonderful country and a wonderful, that's one of the first symbols. We buy these signs just to put in our living rooms. Now this particular one, this 76, is with the native Chumash where they can call themselves Indians. And it shows um, a chief. It shows a chief Indian of the uh, native American Indian descent. He's beautiful. I love it. They called this guy, um, oh, whoa, I'm going to pull out the nigger word. They're going to be like, you said that again? How'd you get away with it? Um, no, no, no. They called them rednecks. No, we, we don't do that. That's not cool. Um, wait, redskins. Yeah, it was a football team. No, Redskins, yeah, playing the, because they're red. That's what they said. That's a weird color to just decide like that. How do you know? Like, there isn't, they don't have skin issues. You know what I mean? We're going to take this to Lenny Bruce and let you guys work that out with him because, yeah, he's going to have fun with that, not us. All right. And we're going to have fun. So people, where we're going right now, we're going to go into this station and we're going to talk to this one man without him knowing it. So secretly, he doesn't know that I'm bringing all 57 of you into this little space. He would not want to be photographed or seen with you guys. So anyways, what's funny here is that he looks, maybe we can have this reference, he looks like if you've ever seen Men in Black, the first one, people, the only one. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like Star Wars, there's only one good thing. You got to do it. You have to make it smaller. You can't franchise. You can't turn it into little plastic things. No. So this man looks, and I think it is him, like in one of the very first scenes that Will Smith, that's in another of my movies, you guys, the impersonator, right? Um, Will Smith uh, goes in, I think it's a pawn shop. That's a reference. We reference pawn shops in the game, people. You should write it down when you hear it. Every time you hear a pawn shop, you have to write this information down. It's a code. You All those words, it doesn't matter what you write down, all the numbers, at the end of the game, it's going to pay off like a Dostoevsky novel. Just trust me, I'm the educator here. Give me some sort of seniority or my daddy is coming for you and you know I have daddy issues and we don't want to go there. Anyways, I'm getting back to this character because it's a character where they go in, they shoot him, like point blank in the face, these two men in black with the sunglasses looking all cool. And the guy just like melts into this blob and then comes back. And he's like this little weird creature with this head, right? With this funny face. Uh, if all of you, this would be the miracle, and we're praying for it. If all of you 57 subscribers, after hearing this, know who I'm talking about. Know, like, can see, if you've seen the movie, and you can see exactly who this person is. Well, that's who we're going in to talk to. So you can imagine when you hear him talking, he's a method actor, this guy. And uh, he lives in Santa Barbara. At the uh, 76 station, which they'll say San Ynez, for, for you playing the game in the uh, Google Maps, it will say San Ynez uh, Chumash. And it will probably point you to the Painted Cave, which is, of course, the Berkowitz story, which they turned into a movie. That was part of the game, right? You have to find out what movie is he alluding to, what's it called? You need to take your pen and your papers and write down in your cool little journals. It's going to be cool, people. Analog, playing the analog game. Oh, no. This, it might not be him. Okay, so if it's not him, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, this is funny. You're going to have to tell 
by if you know the smile in my voice now, if it is the guy that I was saying, this method actor from the movie, or if it's going to be this other guy that we're unsure of, that it's the actual guy, and if you want extra points, do I know this other guy? Right? Like schizophrenia? All right, you're getting the game. You guys are getting into it. You know who you are. 33, all the cars doing it again, people. Please, please, I'm asking you to pray for me. Pray. Pray that it, please. Uh... How can I not love my subscribers? I tell you, I promise you, I will, I will come find you, each and every one, but not like that, right? I will come personally, thank you, and, and somehow return this favor because you are slowly slaving, saving my life. With that speech said, what was it I said I wasn't gonna say? With that said, oh, check it out, 76, we care customer services. Oh, here's the number, people. We care, 76. They do care here. 1-800-527-5476. Okay, here we go. Hello, nice to see you. What, what number am I out there? What kind of car do you have? Um, it's the... White car, white SUV. No, no, I stay away from um, suburban assault vehicles. What are you talking about? Uh, um, Ford, it's the Ford Focus ST. ST, this one, black one, five. Five, okay. Yeah, okay. It's actually metallic, that's what they yeah. told me. There's no other color like that. No, everyone says black. Yeah, How it was they scammed me. Uh, ten dollars, please. Yeah. How you been? Not bad, thank you. Yeah. Yes. All right. Is it going to work? Yes. Yes. It works, all right. It just never works um, at the pump for some reason. Always you see here, they block it. Oh, they block? They block $75. Yeah. No way. Any, yeah. any gas station, they block it. That's why always you see inside, okay? Okay, thank you yeah. for that. Oh, that's great information. All right, you have a good one. Yeah. Did you hear it? That's the miracle. We just gave out information worldwide. Know that. 76 but he's saying all gas stations they put some sort of weird hold on the outside pump you could get in trouble for the amount of 75 dollars and up yeah and they can just take it and over saturday and sunday disappear with it yeah i've had that happen to me um but he said it the employee has spoken who was he which one was he? Was he in the Men in Black? Have you ever even seen Men in Black? Oh, no. Now he's going to make me go see Pink Floyd, The Wall, and then uh, uh, Stephen King. Now i got to read Stephen King books before I start watching Stephen King movies. Uh, well, go with Pet Cemetery, but the first one, right? Because it's about animals. If you love animals and you're a vegan, you should see uh, Pet Cemetery, but the first one. So you probably won't see it. You see where we're getting back to the limited edition? It's amazing. Um, so my Disney card was accepted here. Let's go put in some gas and I'll keep talking. Nobody knows because I have a mask on and I've been selling them. Yeah, how have you been? There is someone close by, so now I have to pretend that I have... My, I'm going to pretend I have my daughter on the phone. Yeah, tell me some more. Really? What have you drawn? Oh, that sounds amazing. You're gonna... Okay, you can... You can... I have no memory. Yeah, I can't... What do you mean I just have to Google it? I can't... You know I'm in a argument with Google. I can't... I can't be wiring you money I don't have, daughter of mine. Who's your mom? I want to... 
I want to speak to your mom. Yeah, who gave birth to you? No, I'm just joking. I'm joking to you. I have a chip in my head. Got the, the ladies just like freaking out. She can't believe it. Yeah, this is so funny. Thank you for being here. It's another miracle. Making life so funny. Well, I don't know. You want to have a sex change operation? This early on. You're only 13. Oh, yeah. Now she's like calling quality control. You know, the social. A uh, bad father caught at the 76 at the chew mash. He's probably been gambling. Right? Oh, man. Yeah. That's right. They know about my drug addiction. They know I passed it on to you. No, you got me started. What are you talking about, daughter of mine at 13 years old? No, no, I had the sex operation first. No, don't be taking credit like that of the sex. Oh, I'm the martyr for this organization. I take seniority. Okay, we're back in the car. Wow, you should have seen the lady's face. You know what I mean? Oh my God. That's the only thing that's missing is if there'd be someone, you know, if we had the CC camera for all this. Oh, India, you want to know? I keep saying CC camera. CC in the business is the way of saying security. No, the closed circuit. Closed circuit meaning uh, for India, but they film us all. It's, it's on all all the corners and you just Google. If you Google me right now, you can get on Google World or Earth or Earth Link. That's what they had to start. We were first tracked in the 80s by a company called Earthlink. And we all had a computer that was called Commodores 64. The Commodores, you mean, uh, that's why I'm easy. Oh, oh God, I can't see you. Oh, I'm easy like Sunday morning. Though I'm going all the way with this. The singer who's lost his career, who's driving around thinking that, like, for a Napoleon law, he's just a rolling casino and he's singing at every moment like he's La Mata. There you go, that's a clue for the game. In one of the movies, I do the whole, well, I do the impersonator part of the quadrophenic. Um, Lyft driver does uh, the method actor. He, he does a little bit of the Lamata. That's, um, no, it's not the last waltz. Oh my God. It, uh, last waltz was in black and white though. I think you got that right and that is Scorsese. So you get um, brownie points, we call them. I'm taking off the mask. Hold on. Now it's clear. The brownie points are now I'm going to talk to you with my mask off. How happy are you, class? Yeah. Finally, we might pass this, this course that he's calling a game. Yeah, we need that. Like you're Robin Williams in, uh, in the Dead Poets Society movie. Yeah, you do have to see that one to play the game. If you don't know the Dead Poets, you won't understand how the teacher educator character that's in some of the movies, usually colorful, uh, colorfully painted, colored, colorfully, and he's very colorful, usually 80s style. That's his uh, forte, this educator, who's always talking about being stripped of his tenure but his stories always talk about other uh, uh, teachers and educators and directors and schools uh, that he had fun, you know, being in their tenure. Like, he pretends he doesn't know uh, what uh, tenure means, but he really does, because he's been stripped of it so many times, right? You see this character, he's in there, he's beautiful, he's honest about it, He's always saying he's sorry. <sighs> like that, I'm sorry. Well, I, 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 he does that a lot. He's got a speech impediment and he, he does the, I, so how many times in the F.U. Nazi uh, coppers, you Nazi coppers, you, nya, 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 
Now that's Bugs Bunny doing uh, Bugsy Malone. Oh no, you don't have to look him up. Don't worry. No, no best student of the class. Don't, don't, don't look up Bugsy. It's not going to be helpful. No. Now she's telling us the story of Bugs Bunny doing Bugs Bunny Malone playing the piano. He's playing Liszt. Oh no, now not, not you. Not, not, you're not going to look up Liszt, are you? Oh, shopping Liszt. No, that's Chopin. It's pronounced Chopin. Oh, now you're going to tell me how to pronounce the words. Oh, play me something, young student Jedi, who thinks there's 30, 30 33 different uh, franchised Star Wars, like it's, uh, oh, what's the worst thing that's ever come out here now? What's the one with all the comedians who hang out on the set somewhere in the woods? Uh, well, like peeing in a pool, who does that? and film it with like blue dye that's so fake that's so phony but it's tasteless i guess you can drink that water i guess it's healthy for you you're still doing a sitcom on on a very high level because that movie went direct to my tv set where i keep seeing it over and over and over again you guys know who you are i'm not gonna make a list now because they say it's me really all right Adam Sandler, ah, he did the Jewish song. Oh my God, I hope it recorded. Oh my God, you guys heard that. That's a miracle. I've never been able to make it do that. Oh, oh, oh my God. You're gonna hear the insanity and then you're gonna see my system, what I'm doing, what you guys are doing. You see how she called worried about uh, somebody's trying to call her, right? And she's probably worried about my health. Um, I get that. So anytime, she's just worried all day if she ever gets this mysterious call. So she's going to be getting them now that I put her phone number right in the descriptions of most of my movies. You know, all that. It's going to be funny. Um, yeah, I know. Not most of my movies. 33 and 57. You know that's not true. Um, there's just a couple of them. Most of those, the Shell ones, everything to do with Shell and the point market, it's all factual, people. You can call those numbers. You can boycott those companies. And I have lots of coupons for these coffees and goodies. We can, uh, you know, make them give everybody the coupons so that you're enticed to go in, not give them a name and your social number and your phone number and email address, not all of that. So they can't, no, 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 you're tracking them now. Like, oh, I think you owe me a couple more of these coupons for some of this coffee or, or goodies. I like to, I see now you, you can do donuts again because of that crime bashing thing, that, that triangle, that trilogy, no, not a trilogy, that's like a bad, uh, that's a bad thing on YouTube. It's not bad, it's okay. It's just they don't need all those subscribers. They should give some to us. See? That. That's what's bringing me to PI. I just realized. I don't care anymore. I have forgiven them both. Um, but they are going to be giving us subscribers. That's what we're going to take them one by one, brick by brick. Oh, now I have to go hear Iggy Pop's brick by brick. Yes, please. That one's for Dirty Tree and... 57, the newest subscriber for now. Um, hello, you have won a prize. Yes, your prize was I never told you which Didi Ramon book you need to find out about. You can't read it on the computer. You can't. I'll know if you have. Ah, it's got to be. Do it for D.D. Ramon. This, this is the way our channel works. We are doing it for the, the these gods who have passed away. Lenny Bruce is a comedic god, but he's a lawyer god in the First Amendment. And, and he was going to Rikers Island, the worst island in the world. It would be like the island of Moreau. 
Why would I bring up that old movie? Well, because there's some amazing stories online for that one. And there's this Ridley Scott. Whoa, if you look through my movies, there will be something called raw footage, 4K, Ridley Scott. And that's explaining a story that I had with you too on that special uh, edition they were talking about. Um, assignment, which was all around the world. Sylvie knows, I asked her, I said, let's do this. Then on a particular day, you do, you do day in a life or life in a day, I forgot. I started having fun with it. But I tried to do it while angering, while angering, while managing my anger. Because I was losing all this memory and stuff to the man and the algorithm. And it was upsetting because you only had one day to do this thing, supposedly. Uh, yeah. But it got really complicated and all these rules started to get in the way and I, I was losing ambition. That's not good. Uh, but there's at least little bits of proof of that day and what I tried to do. Anyways, anyways, I who's in the kitchen with a swartening, shortening, who's in the kitchen with a shortening bread? Ah, mama's in the, no, man, a man is in the kitchen with, hello, man, yeah, you can't say man, come on, they were, they just tore down the Sambo's sign, they just did it, and I saw it in a Danny's. Yeah, they just put it inside the denny, so no way. This is Santa Barbara, we can override all that. Someone's in the kitchen making shortening. Yeah, you just have to find the right key. Someone's in the kitchen. That has nothing to do with it. Now you're modulating. What's wrong with you? Are you that dude from Van Halen, David Lee Roth? Uh-oh. You have now found yourself maybe heading toward Act 3 of The Secret Life of Thomas Grant P.I. Who is David E. Roth? And who is he fighting? What's this with David? You got a Dave. What? Dave's not here, right? You got the Cheech and Chong Dave, right? With the product. I'm gonna get in trouble. The police are right here. Can you shh? They're inside your phone, Snowden. Is at your doorstep. Hey, it's Dave Snowsy with the good screen shavers. No. All right. With the what? Dave's not here. No. It's Snowden. I said Snowden. I've been, I'm cold, man. I've been walking around the airport in Moscow or Siberia. I don't know what. I don't see daylight. I, I would like to go use your um, heating lamp. I know you have a heating lamp in there. I know everything about you, dude, through your phone. Because you wouldn't look at my tutorial. Please, let me in. Huh? Dave's not here. <sighs> no, Dave Snowden. This is like Breaking Bad. I, I had to change my name from the scrubber to uh, Lift Driver Gypsy Snowden. Dave. Dave the homeless guy. Dave the homeless guy. Dave? Dave's not here. Huh? What? Hey, hey, hey. I got my burritos. I got my, I got, I got the ball. I got the enchiladas. I got the burritos. I got the enchiladas, man. What? That sounds good. Keep going, man. Uh, what? I got to make sure you got the whole list. What? Uh, I, I got the one was sour, one without them. They, what? Two burritos. One was sour, bring one without. In choritos, three of them. I'm not going to describe the differences that Taco Bell. What? Dave? Dave, you were supposed to. Dave the Uber slave? No. Dave the homeless guy, I delivered for a DoorDash. DoorDash, okay. What did we order? Oh, fuch pasta. Ah, to, to, um, you ordered the, um, the El Loco burrito. 
two of them. One a loco with a loco the sour cream, and one without the loco, a loco special sauce, uh, gravy. We're calling it for you. Ah, Dave. Dave, did you order gravy? What? Chicken and biscuits? Uh, someone's in the kitchen making chutney. Cho what would you be doing with this shortening bread, sir? Before we, we hang you or we rape you. Oh, Kurt, please. That's not appropriate music for this courtroom. All right, Kurt. Let's talk about it. There's something better. Alright. Something in the way. Yeah. Alright, sir. Ooh. Are you saying that officer something in the way? Now, when you strip in front of a First Amendment auditor like that, just pulling out your something in the way. Your equipment, or should I say putting it away. Ooh. Now, something in the way. Now, were you holding this instrument of you? Oh, like a Juilliard student. Something in the way. Yeah. Thanks, Kurt. That's Kurt singing for the choir. Something in the hole. All right, officer. Since you haven't answered the question, let's just paint a picture here. Something in the way. Yeah. Oh, how? What kind of picture? Well, officer, so you're holding your penis in the... All right. You're holding what's left of your penis in your hand. Uh, and you're just walking there naked with a lampshade over your head. Something. That's right. That's what I'm sticking to that. The man used, did not, was not me. I have never used the N-word. Then what about all these uh, cassette tapes? Something. Cassette tapes. Yeah, they're all metal. They did not get destroyed. Uh, they were not destroyed in Sony's fire. Something that's right, officer. Uh, Where well, you have said the N-word. Oh, how many times did he say it? Well, then you'd have to be playing the PI game. Something in the way. Well, well, what did I learn? Well, there's a certain amount of times you have to collect a certain amount of numbers along with the finger gestures, the digit gestures, pi r round, pi r square. You divide it, you find out do not be a dick. It's a nice thing. You join the Green Party where you only have to not be an a-hole, which is a nice way of not saying asshole, which is just being a dick, just do not do it, and you get a t-shirt and some cool sunglasses. Okay, that was my product placement, but what are you talking about? Something in the way. Hey, Kurt's back after taking a little break. Cool, dude, what did you do in the bathroom? Did you wash your hands? Don't be funny, dude, they're all stuck singing bleach. Okay, I get it, Kurt. Go back to playing. Oh, something. I'm going back to the closet, dude. I'm not feeling too well. Oh, man, did he take some Nesquik with him? There he goes with the Nesquik. How many times was Nesquik mentioned? And why was 27 in the actual movie where it's telling you how many times Nesquik was mentioned in the movie? Something in the way. Is that from the F.U. Nazi fun? Cops? I don't know. Ooh, a product placement. Something. Oh man, it's the fan. I forgot. You guys didn't hear anything there, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. That was the air conditioning that just, like, I'm sorry. Now you hear me at 29.40. And if you got here and it's all clear now, wasn't that magical? You were probably just deciphering it, putting it through your computer, right? Just getting those bits that were all lost. Wait, we can 
that can't possibly be like why how could, how are they censoring him they've been using those low tones like a car thing but now the actual air flowing that's air conditioning the real stuff how can he afford it ah, I've been just driving around trying to keep the battery going and I'm just paying gas at this one shoe mash place and driving around Buildin that's where you've been you've been all over and you met the guy method actor and we had another miracle, right? Because he told us the trick. You have to go inside, people. When you're using your card, there's the boycott. Stop letting the machine. Let it in full. It's not gonna miss you. You're not gonna miss it. it. That's how it works. So, but do go inside. Do talk to somebody. Make sure you have said something before you put your card in and give him your digits. Louis C.K. got his digits messed up. He turned out to, uh, to be a very bad father, and uh, I was too, so he can't say it's not true. And Cosby's in jail, he can't say it's not true. And Harvey Weinstein's in jail, and he can't say it's not true. Sush Knight can't say it's not true. I don't know, he's just somebody's uncle, right? We don't need to talk to him. P.I. would tell you it's true, Mr. Tom, any of the singing versions that I parody in fun because they like me because they're my friends. They get it. Why? Because I like you. That's the Mickey Mouse Club. I was in that club. I was in other clubs too. And if you, if you saw a vision and I showed you something of my past lives in one of my past movies and you saw, ooh, you saw something bloody, saw maybe uh, something sticking out of the arms of me, like a syringe or something. But I'm mentioning Anthony Kiedis, right? And if you get his book, please do not. That's a boycott. I'm asking you to destroy those books like they destroyed um, Beatles records, like they destroyed Dixie Chick records, just for saying they are God. God didn't mind. He was enjoying the show. He was like, come on, punks. Yeah, all right. Like Yanni, today, David, right? Taking on Goliath. That's David, not, not the guy who just proved that I know how to do this algorithm thing. Not Dave the Uber slave. Dave the homeless, yes. He's not going to get into your algorithm. But the guy in your algorithm, Dave the Uber Slave, used to be subscriber 58. Where is subscriber 58?